Welcome back to the SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll learn how to measure light intensity using a photo cell. In LabVIEW, I'll click on Help and choose Find Examples, and then I'll click Search and type Links. There's a specific example for using a photo cell, so I'll double click Links Photo Cell. I'll close Example Finder. And then in the serial port section, I'll choose COM3, which is attached to our breadboard. If we look at the circuit, we can see we have five volts connected to one side of the photocell. Then the other side is connected to AI0 and also through a 10K resistor to ground. So this creates a voltage divider and the photocell's resistance will vary as the light intensity varies. When we measure the voltage difference, we can get a relative approximation of the light intensity that the photocell is exposed to. So I'll go ahead and click Run to run the VI. Once LabVIEW establishes a connection to the redboard, you'll see the voltage indicated on the vertical slide indicator. Now, if I cover the photocell, you'll see that the light intensity decreases. Let's take a look at how this works. I'll click the stop button and press control E to bring up the block diagram. You can see that we establish a connection to the redboard. Then inside the loop, we use the photo cell read VI and we give it the analog input channel. This VI assumes that we're using a 10K paired resistance and it outputs a value between zero and 100. Now this isn't specific lumens or any other measurement. It's just an arbitrary number scaled from zero to 100. Then we convert it to a U8 and we display it on the vertical slide. Let's say we also want to graph that data. I'll switch back to the front panel and add some room below for our graph. Now I'll right click on the front panel to bring up the controls palette and click graph and choose waveform chart. We can add data to a chart one point at a time and the chart will maintain the history. A graph on the other hand displays sets of numbers, so we'd have to pass it an array. Since we're sampling one point at a time, we'll use a chart. I'll left click to place it on the front panel, and then I'll click it and hover over and grab one of the handles to expand it. The default scale is minus 10 to 10, but if we right click on it, we can see that it'll also auto scale. So I'll click this to turn off auto scaling because we know our value will be between zero and 100. I'll double click the negative 10 and change it to zero, and I'll double click the positive 10 and change it to 100. Then I'll double click on the side of my graph to find it on the block diagram. I'll place that inside the loop just above our slider indicator, and then I'll branch the wire and connect it to the waveform chart in addition to the slider. Now I'll switch back to the front panel and run the VI. Now we can see the value is displayed on our slider and on the graph. Think about how you could use the light intensity to control lighting in your room using LEDs, or to get a relative approximation of your hand position. You could maybe even use this with our buzzer to create a theremin. That does it for our basic introduction on using a photocell to measure light intensity. In the next section, we'll use the TMP36 temperature sensor to measure temperature. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.